Welcome. My name is Nick for Candida Hub, and in this video, we'll be talking about Manuka honey for a yeast infection. Manuka honey is made primarily in New Zealand, and the bees that are responsible for Manuka honey collect nectar from the Manuka plant. And so the honey becomes charged with various phytochemicals from the Manuka plant's nectar. The specific chemical in Manuka honey that is responsible for its biological activity is methylglyoxal. And Manuka honey is given a rating called Unique Manuka Factor Rating that tells you how much methylglyoxal is in the honey. Typically, active Manuka honey has a UMF rating of 10 or more. So, since Manuka honey is more expensive than normal honey, the question is, is it really worth procuring this type of honey to use as a yeast infection treatment? The answer is actually, Manuka honey isn't much better than regular honey at stopping bacteria and candida, the yeast responsible for yeast infections. A 2015 study published in the Journal of Coastal Life Medicine looked at the effects of six honeys on candida yeast. One of those honeys was a manuka honey, and one of those honeys was an artificial honey. So it was a pretty comprehensive analysis of the various types of honeys that you can buy and how well they would inhibit candida. The study found that all the honeys used, even the artificial honey, seemed to inhibit candida about the same. So there was no real advantage to using a Manuka honey. But even if you don't have Manuka honey, one more cost-effective and perhaps powerful way of getting the Manuka phytochemicals into that honey is by using Manuka essential oil, which has been proven to be anti-candida. But if you want to use a essential oil, one of the best essential oils is lemongrass. In the study uh, that compared lemongrass essential oil and manuka essential oil, it was found that lemongrass essential oil was much more powerful at treating a yeast infection than manuka essential oil was. If you really want to use manuka honey to treat a yeast infection, you sure can. It is safe to use in the vagina or anywhere on the skin. So don't be afraid to use this type of honey to treat a yeast infection if that's what you want to do. So yeast aside for a moment, can Manuka honey really treat different bacterial infections better than other honeys? Maybe then it would be worth getting this a little bit more pricey uh, exotic honey. A study was done to determine the effects of Manuka honey and other honeys on bacteria. The study was published in 1992 in the Journal of Bacteriology. The study found that about 11% concentrations of all the honey would successfully inhibit the bacteria they were tested upon. So at an 11% concentration, it really doesn't make much difference if you're using Manuka honey or regular honey even to treat a bacterial infection. When you use Manuka honey or any other honey topically or in the vagina, you're using about 100% honey, which research shows is more than enough to inhibit various pathogens like yeast and bacteria. So there's really no need to buy expensive Manuka honey. It's just a marketing strategy and it may have other benefits besides its antimicrobial properties, but this video isn't about that, and it's up for you to determine. So in conclusion, you can just skip the Manuka honey when you want to use uh, honey for a yeast infection treatment. There's no need to get it. And if you'd like to find out more information about Manuka honey and Candida, uh, check out the article on Candida Hub. The link is right below in the description. And you can also find out about a natural, safe, and very fast cure for yeast infections at Candida Hub. So I hope you'll uh, come on over and check it out. Thanks.